Hello, this is Eddie Damage, and welcome back to the channel. In this last Epoch video, I want to talk to you about the launch of Patch 1.0. Last Epoch is finally leaving early access after a long early access period, in my opinion. It's been a few years, and I've been there since the start. It's been awesome seeing the game come along so well. In this video, though, we're going to tell you everything you need to know about launch, leading up to launch, and post-launch. Let's go ahead and talk about Last Epoch Patch 1.0. This update is very highly anticipated, and there's loads of hype surrounding this game. There will be many new players and faces joining in on day one of patch 1.0 with that expect a lot of server load i want to send the most positive vibes to 11th hour games with their server capabilities and i hope they have the capacity to support all the new players however though as i mentioned it is a very highly anticipated launch and i do fully expect to see issues again fingers crossed and i hope that's not the case and i hope it's just the most smooth launch ever and the game just succeeds astronomically patch 1.0 will be coming out on february 21st 2024 at 11 a.m but 24 hours before that so on february 20th at 11 a.m central standard time they're going to be taking the online services down for maintenance to prepare for a launch. Once the maintenance is complete 24 hours later, February 21st at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, Patch 1.0 will be available for download from Steam. But if you don't see it right at 11 a.m., you're gonna need to restart your Steam client and check again. You need to be patient though, it could take upwards of 20 minutes in order to see that update in Steam. There's also going to be Twitch drops. Those won't start until the second day of launch on February 22nd. We will have drops enabled on our channel. I'll talk about it a little bit later here in the video, but there's something I want to get out of the way first that I think is really awesome that I want to point out just about 11th Hour Games and just how their entire community and how they run business. I want to do a big shout out here because it's not a lot of times that you see these bigger companies doing things like this. They're really looking out for their own and it just really makes me that much more happy to be so supportive of this game. This is what I'll point out right here. And what they're talking about is, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, is there's going to be a lot of stress on their servers, likely to be issues. And along with that, you're going to have people that are upset that they can't play their video game day one of launch on a highly anticipated launch. It's just inevitable. And they know that. So down at the end of this post, I want to point this out here. I quote, we will not tolerate any amount of abuse for our support staff. It pains me that I have to say this, but please know that our community guides, codes of conduct, and terms of service apply to our support staff as well. If you are found to have been verbally abusive to our support staff, we reserve the right to revoke your access to online play. Guys, keep that in mind and just be respectful, please. Just be a normal human being and just be thankful that we're going to have this game for years and years to come. This will be a top tier action RPG for many years. I fully believe that. Now that we got that out of the way, I'm really glad that they just included that in this post. I just think a lot of people don't really think about that. And hopefully if you watch this video, you'll have that in the back of your mind. If we're feeling frustrations on launch again, fingers crossed, everything goes smooth and there's no issues at all. Let's go and talk about Twitch drops. These are going to start on February 22nd. As I mentioned, we will have Twitch drops enabled over on our Twitch stream. If you haven't followed me over on Twitch yet, I will have the link down below for that as well. I haven't been streaming a whole lot lately because I've been really focusing on getting up my codex of last epoch build guides on the YouTube channel. I am planning to stream every single day of these drops so that you can come and get your loot. In order to get these, you just got to come over and watch one hour of the stream for anyone that has drops enabled on their last epoch stream. Starting on February 22nd, if you go watch one hour of these streams, you can unlock this cloak right here. This cof cloak this is going to be mine i'm going to be repping that here's what i look like in it I already tried it on the first size on friday february 23rd you can get the green dire guana this is a pet cosmetic item the day after that will be saturday february 24th you can get the merchant's mantle cosmetic backslot item again um i don't know probably won't be wearing that but hey come over and watch the stream anyway and get that loot why not <laughs> awesome to have those cosmetics and last but not least on sunday the 25th you can get the blue sears orb pet cosmetic item i'm pretty hyped about that one i hopefully it's really shiny and flashy but if you're like man i work all four of those days i'm gonna miss out don't worry they're gonna do a wave two of this starting on february 29th through march 3rd it's gonna be in the exact same order as I already went over they are making these twitch shops pretty easy to obtain one hour to watch a stream to get a little bit of free loot is completely understandable and i'm so glad that they're marketing this game so well in my opinion if you have any questions about cosmetics or cash shop, I do have a video covering that topic as well. If you haven't checked it out yet, make sure you do once you're done watching this video. Thank you so much for your time as we talked about your guide to Last Epoch 1.0 launch. And that's going to wrap it up for this Last Epoch video. Hopefully you found this video useful and or entertaining. If so, don't forget that like button and subscribe to the channel for more action RPG videos. The best way to support me is through becoming a YouTube channel member today and or dropping a super thanks on the video. Your view alone means the absolute world. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.